guys, so we took a short trip to Holbosch from Cancun. Uh, check out my more videos so you can see how we got there and when we got there and where else we stayed. This is kind of a short glimpse of, you know, uh, the area in Holbosch, the nightlife. But I wanted to go into detail of the food, the drinks that we had in Holbosch and the 10 best places that we visited. So keep on watching and you will see some cool places to eat at. A lot of, this is basically a sandbar, so this island is basically just a sandbar. Our concierge at the Ritz Carlton now Kempinski Hotel at the same time they made reservations for us for all these restaurants in Holbosch. The first one was Salma. Has a really cool vibe. Just remember guys it's really really hot and please 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 wear bug spray. Second spot we visited was Pineapple. Basically, the chef is from Na uh, Naples and her first name is Pineapple. So that's where the Pineapple came from. Also, this is a really Instagrammable place. Um, a lot of people come here for breakfast. We actually came here for dinner, which was better for us because it wasn't extremely crowded. But make sure you have reservations to this place. It's like all kinds of stuff in it, ginger. And he said lupe, but lupe is what makes the color. <laughs> It's delicious by the way guys. I got this Amazon, I got this time off Amazon with my wife did. And uh here. Yeah. Trust me. Everything is outdoors. Leave this fan. Turn it on. For all my sweating brothers out there. And you get the mosquitoes get kept away too. Bread with hummus. Oh, this is a note. This is the iced coffee with coconut milk. So pretty, cool and yummy. This is a poke bowl with salmon. It's huge. Yummy. That one tastes so fucking good. Oh, I haven't even tried this one. This is the mango one. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, it makes it numb. Yeah, sorry? It makes it numb, right? Yeah, is it, is it natural? For sure. Numb? The third spot we visited was Gronikas. Now we came here probably like four nights in a row just because it's the only place that had an AC. If you're really a hot person, then you can stop by in here. They have really good beers, um, coffee beers, malt liquors, just all kinds of drinks you can make. I wasn't drinking at the time, so she made me a non-alcoholic cocktail, but they also had like little non-alcoholic drinks in the fridge too. It's a really small spot, so if you have space, you know get there and sit down 
I personally don't care about the heat. My husband, he really <laughs> hates the heat, so he needed to come here every day to cool down. So stop by. They speak English here pretty fluently. And it's right opposite the taxi, so once you're done, you can just hop on one of those taxis and they'll take you back to the hotel. The fourth place we stopped at was called the Mosquito Bar. Now this is on our way back from the sandbar. We went to go see the sandbar. I really recommend you go visit the sandbar. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see videos of the sandbar and how we visited it, how we got there, and how amazing it was, and a little bit of background history behind it. So this is Mosquito Bar. Like I said, this place is full of mosquitoes. I recommend you getting mosquito spray with DEET because they have dengue fever here. My, my husband did get a mild dengue fever here, so be really, really careful. Don't forget to stop by over here. It's called Mosquito Bar, hold on. Cheers. What beer are you drinking? A really fucking cold one. Indio, yummy. This is yummy for my tummy. <laughs> There's quite a few flies here, so you can just cover it with a tissue paper. That's what everyone else did, so we copied it. No, we didn't make copy it. <laughs> so we got Kringle fries, ketchup, chili, and something else. <laughs> I don't remember what he said. It's like a garlic mayo. Fifth place we ate at was Luma. Now the food was really good. The service was good until the end when they made us fill out a questionnaire stating how good the service was. Then when my husband tried to finish drinking the beer, they basically kicked him out because they say they had a reservation for a place next door when they clearly said they don't take reservations. So if you look at their reviews on Google, a lot of uh, reviews state that they only like take reservations for the uh, hotel next door. Um, but it was kind of upsetting that we gave them a really, really good tip, 25% tip, and then my husband still had a full beer, but they basically said you have to chug that beer and leave. And the, um, the hostess, she basically just stayed there and hounded my husband while he finished the beer. We were really upset, but the next day we went to Mandarina, which is coming up next, and they kind of made it up to us because they were the same owners. Chipotle dressing, eh, Oaxaca cheese, tomato sauce, and the octopus. 
and it's black for the ink. And this is habanero. So you have picanha, that is a Brazilian food. Uh -huh. This is still breast. Uh -huh. so uh, habanero sauce. That's merguez, that is from lamb. You have potatoes bravas with sriracha and aioli. Fresh bread of the day. This is chimichurri. Okay. And this is estatic, that is a chile huero from this one. This is a sour beer. This one awards. It's one of several awards. Six, six percent alcohol. Size only. Like a white color. The sixth place we went to was the gelato stand. Now you have to go here. They have really nice flavors. Um, the blue one was my favorite flavor. I, d I only saw about two or three of these around, but if you see one, just make sure you stop by. It'll really cool you down because, like I said, it's really, really hot and humid and sticky in hall wash. Uh, just to let you know, there's several grocery stores around the area of downtown where you can get all your supplies, sunscreen, chips. You know, if you just want to have a night out on the town and just drink and stuff and you want to grab some snacks here, some Pedialyte, I would recommend coming to these um, corner stores. They're all, uh, you know, everything is in date and everything is fresh and it's super, super cheap. Like the Doritos were like converted to like a dollar fifty for the big big bag the eighth place we visited was mandarina now this is part of la luma as well and so the same owners is literally next door um it was the same hostess that we had at luma and she really apologized for the her behavior at luma towards us um, so we had a really great experience here the food is good to be honest with you we like the la luma food better um, but the bartender was awesome. He gave us like all these shots and he was just really hospitable. Um, I really like the scenery here too. <laughs> this is a brioche. Put that to the This is a guacamole, crispy with cricket dust. Cricket dust, grasshopper dust. Horse belly. The complimentary breads with rosemary, lobster, grenache. Wait, hold on, no. Oh, yes. 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 You probably want to order something else. Right? Huh? You probably want to order something else. Why? Okay. Okay, okay go ahead. Peanut stout. Peanut butter stout, good in Mexico. Delicious ice cream. Ninth place we visited was El Crustaceo Cascarado. <laughs> I can't say that, I'm sorry. Um, this place was good. It was really, really cheap. Really, really bang for your buck. The only issue is that the food was very plain. It's almost like homemade food, which is good in a way. Um, but if you're looking for something different, I, I don't know. It's just a place where the food just tastes like it would at home. Also, the stuffed avocado wasn't what we expected. We were kind of looking at the same stuffed avocado that we got at Pineapple and Salma. But this one, it just looked like an avocado salad. I got the hibiscus agua fresca and he got a ginger pineapple uh, 
agua fresca. And then they reserve the table for us. Reservado. This is the calamari, fried calamari. Ooh, it's hot. Pasta Diablo, spicy. This is a stuffed avocado with, avocado with vegetables. This is a stuffed avocado with chicken. And then this is the uh, chicken fingers. <laughs> The tenth and final spot that we visited in our trip to Halbosch was Casa Nostra. It has Italian cuisine. They also give you a complimentary birthday dessert. Like I said, everything we booked was from uh, Ritz Carlton. It had just changed to the Kapinski Hotel when we were there. Uh, but the concierge made all these reservations for us, so we were really taken care of. Also, the people in Halbosch are very, very friendly. Um, they don't try and, you know, jip you or oversell you. They're just basically to say what do you want to eat we tell them and that's it uh the food was really hot and fresh here the service was excellent um it was a little bit slow we did order the squid ink but i feel like the squid ink was just colored uh with food coloring this is margarita with heradura heradura ultra ultra only that's the ultra kick. Pesos. I wanted a non-alcoholic drink, so he made me something with cucumber, lime, and basil. With pudding pasta with chicken. Alright, thank you guys for watching our 10 best places to eat and drink in Holbosch. Also, please subscribe so you can see more videos on our trip to Holbosch, how we got to Holbosch, where we got there from, cool places to visit in Holbosch, and why this is a hidden gem. Also, why I would probably not visit here again, but it is good to visit as a one-time experience. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.